Okay guys, Robot here again and today we're going to do the Cinema 4D half of the background we started the other day. So um, yeah, I'm going to jump straight into Cinema 4D and if you don't already have it, um, I'd definitely recommend Grayscale Gorillas Light Kit. I will be using it in this video and you can find it in my 5K graphics pack. Um, but yeah, it's really helpful and it produces great results. So I'm going to start by opening that. I'm going to go to open and then go to Cinema 4D Lighting and then you want to open this Lib4D file here and just wait for a bit because my Cinema 4D always doesn't respond before it opens it so um, yeah, if this is the glossy text and from the last video a lot of you wanted Cinema 4D text was the main thing I picked up um, so you want to go to Studios and just click on 3D Light Product no, free light product studio dot c4d and it'll open it and then you want to delete every delete the replace me's and the studio and room so you're left with that and then if you go to MoGraph text like that and I'm going to type in tutorial and click OK and then go on font and you want to select whatever font you want but um, I'm going to go with agency FB bold because it's just a general all round nice font and I'm going to increase the height, drag it into the middle and increase the depth. Okay, and then I'm going to go to caps and add a fillet cap on each one. I'll probably leave it at just about five because that's not very big. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to play around with the render settings before I do anything else. It's not finished yet. But I'm going to add ambient occlusion and depth of field and a bit of colour correction and I'm going to make the output 1920 by 1080 and go to save as PNG format and then click alpha channel and I'm just going to save it on my desktop as text there we go Okay, so now what we're going to start with the materials. You want to add a new material and go to black or very dark grey. I'll say about 222 in RGB. And I'm going to take away the specular, add a luminance and a reflection. Reflection I'll just bring down and change the colour to black. And luminance I'll change the colour to grey, dark grey, and bring it right down as well. And then I'm going to leave that and create a new material go to colour, I'm going to go with light blue here because I made the background light blue but I'm sure whatever you want to do that will be fine as well and add luminance and reflection as well reflection I'm going to make it very bright blue, verging on green and then bring that right down and with luminance I'm going to make it a slightly darker blue and then bring that down ok so I'm going to add that to add the blue one to the text you already have and then control C, control V and it will create a new text and then you want to add the black one to the new text and then you can see here that that doesn't look very good so you want to click on the new text, the one with the black on it and go to caps and increase the fillet cap I'm going to go you by 3 and then you just want to drag it back by holding on this blue blue arrow uh, if you're not selected up here then make sure to select on like the cross arrow thing and then just drag the blue one um, drag the blue arrow back and you'll see that that creates a nice kind of backdrop but I'm kind of not done with that I'm gonna increase the radius a bit more on the fillet caps just to make it stand out a bit more and drag it back a bit further okay there we go so I think that looks alright um, I'm just going to rotate it to make sure it's in the right position ok there we go, that'll do and then I'm going to render it ok well sometimes that happens for me, it didn't used to happen so maybe if it does just click on global illumination and come along to this one click custom location and then just save it wherever it comes up and then render it again it should be fine Okay, so with here, this isn't very glossy at the moment because, um, well, it's just not. But most of the work for the 
glossy effect is done in Photoshop and sorry if you can hear my laptop as always when rendering it does make a bit of noise um, but most of the glossy work is done in Photoshop so that's not really a problem okay so this is what wait, when it loads this is what we had last time with a simple blue background and again like quite a lot of the effect should be added after the text because you don't really know how the effect will look with text on top of it if it's added before so it's taken forever to render it's a bit mess annoying oh there we go so it's quite shiny it has some glows but it's not the best it could be yet and we're gonna all right when it's finished rendering when I go to Photoshop you can close Cinema 4D if you want and I'm just gonna find the file there we go so you wanna click Control A and just click on the move tool and drag it by holding on the tab drag it into this file so now you can see they match quite well because they're both blue obviously and you can hold Control T will bring up these and if you hold down shift you can drag it inwards then right click and click rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise and just drag it onto the side of the module like that or wherever you want it but. okay so now we've got the text in the position we want it we're going to go to layer styles and funk it up a bit so you want to go to gradient overlay and move that to 180 degrees and then select blending mode overlay and you can lower the opacity to whatever you want because obviously I don't think dark blue looks really great um, it gives it a bit of a contrast then you go to drop shadow outer glow select blending mode overlay make color white and then you can drag the size up of it if you want however much you want and you can go color overlay and then select blue and basically just go to blending mode color and drag that down to 19 or something like that but yeah, apart from that, that's generally the text tutorial. That'll give you a glossy text. And if you duplicate it by hitting Control J, Control T, then right click and click rotate 180 degrees, you can put it on the other side as well. And that gives a glossy effect. So thanks for watching the tutorial, guys. Um, I'll catch you later, and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.